For some, it's to see relatives, others just to go home. Whatever the reason, those affected by Donald Trump's travel ban are scrambling to enter the US while they can. Nobody say to me no. Very well, good. I'm a doctor, I'm a US citizen. I believe that we are a productive uh, part of the American society. The Department of Justice had appealed to have the ban restored immediately, but late Saturday night, that bid was rejected by a federal appeals court in a further setback to the new president. His executive order to bar citizens from seven mainly Muslim countries and temporarily block refugees was originally lifted on Friday by a judge in Washington state. That prompted this unprecedented attack by Trump on Twitter, saying the opinion of the so-called judge, as he termed him, was ridiculous and will be overturned. We are sending a message of love and peace. Demonstrators see the ruling as a victory for democracy, but they know it may not last long. I hope that there's nothing that's going to happen that will make the ban come back. So that's also why we're here today, to try to make sure it stays this way. Government lawyers have until Monday to challenge it further. They say it poses an immediate risk to the public and questions the president's judgment on national security. But for now, the courts don't agree, creating what may be a brief but vital opportunity for those affected.